Welcome to Bridges Kitchen. I'm Bridges, self-explanatory. I'm sure you saw that <laughs> down below. <laughs> In any case, hello. Today I want to make strawberry miso shortcakes with black pepper whipped cream. The only biscuit recipe you ever need. <laughs> this isn't, this is not that. This is an experimentation on camera because I think I have in my head that a miso shortcake with strawberries and some black pepper sounds really good, sounds interesting, doesn't sound overly sweet, and I've never had it. So let's see if this is actually delicious. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be, but <laughs> we'll find out at the end. <laughs> first things first, we'll need to get our miso shortcakes combined and in the oven. So we're gonna use 225 grams of all-purpose flour, seven grams of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and 15 grams of white sugar. If you're not gonna use miso, definitely add the salt and whisk those all up. We'll add in 30 grams of butter and work that in with our hands. And we're just looking for little pea-sized flakes. We're gonna take 80 grams of heavy cream or whipping cream and add in 20 grams of miso. Grab a fork and mash that miso into the cream. Of course, I insist on using the smallest <laughs> vessel possible. <laughs> so I've already made a mess on the counter. Our flour and butter mixture. Add our miso and cream into it. Mix in our cream. It's mostly combined in a bowl, so we're gonna flip it out onto the counter to bring it together. When you turn it out onto the counter, you're gonna be like, this is not enough liquid at all. <laughs> Once you scrunch it a few times, everything will come together and it will turn into a dough. Press it out into a rough square. If you have a pastry scraper, this is gonna help. If you don't have a pastry scraper, a knife will work. Divide it into four and then stack them on top of each other into one giant tower. This is how we're going to create flaky layers without a lot of effort. Smoosh it. Grab your rolling pin. You can add flour if you want, but it shouldn't be necessary. It's going to be a little bit sticky and roll it out till it's about one inch thick. And then I always just use my thumb to measure roughly is what we're going for. Then we're gonna take a two and a half inch round cutter or whatever you have to get like two kitty corner circles out of because we're making a little baby dessert and cut out some rings. And put these guys on a parchment lined baking sheet and reform the dough and see if you can get another one out of it which you should be able to. It's about the same. <laughs> and then make a little freeform one. Put them fairly close together on the baking sheet, like a quarter of an inch. It'll help them get a little bit taller. These guys can go straight into our 400 degree oven to bake. While the biscuits are baking, we're going to make our black pepper whipped cream. I'm a huge fan of black pepper in baking, so I tend to experiment with it a little bit. We'll put 115 grams of whipping cream into a small bowl. We'll add in an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. I don't think this amount of whipped cream calls for a stand mixer, so just whisk that bad boy up. It really doesn't take very long with this little amount of whipped cream. And I find if you tilt the bowl on its side and use the bowl in this back and forth motion to help you, it happens like super, super, super quick. And you should get like nice soft peaks. And then give it a little taste to see if you like it. Tastes like whipping cream with like a little itty bitty hit of spice 
in the back end, it takes a minute for it to hit. This is going to be really good with the strawberries and the miso shortcakes. We can put this guy in the fridge. What would strawberry shortcakes be without strawberries? I'm going to take our strawberries, top them, and then cut them into eatable slices. I'm going to do a whole pound of strawberries because these will keep in the fridge for the week and I can use them for ice cream, cereal, all that sort of stuff. But feel free to do as much or as little as you want. We're going to put 30 grams of sugar into a bowl. And of course you can adjust that amount of sugar depending how awesome your strawberries are. Once they're all sliced up, take your fork, stir it around a little bit. These can just hang out on the counter while the shortcakes bake. Just stir it every once in a while and they'll be good to go. Beauty. These look really great. They're nice and tall and <laughs> flaky. <laughs> they took about 13 minutes in my oven, but your mileage is going to vary depending on your oven. This is going to be some tasty little dessert snacks. Shall we plate one of these guys up and give it a munch to see how delicious it is? <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know if there's an elegant way to eat this or not. I like it. The miso gives like this subtle background saltiness. It's not in your face, but then like the super sweet strawberries counteract that. And then like the cold whipped cream with just like the tiniest, tiniest little bit of spice. This is really, really good guys. And it's perfect. It only makes like a limited amount, little baby ones. So you can eat like two for dessert and call it a win. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you like <laughs> Bye No flavor left behind